हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू साई फोकस टीवी बाय बाय पत्रिक आई एम वीरेंद्र सिंह होस्ट फॉर टुडे सेशन टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट गांधीयन यंग टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन अवार्ड्स व्हिच आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द स्पिरिट ऑफ स्टूडेंट इनोवेशन टुडे वी हैव विद अस निरंजन फ्रॉम आईआईटी कानपुर हु इज वन ऑफ द अवार्डी दिस ईयर सो लेट्स नो अबाउट दिस अवार्ड इन डिटेल फ्रॉम निरंजन वेलकम निरंजन टू द शो thank you very much sir yeah. so before we start can you briefly tell us about yourself what you are doing right now yeah uh, so uh, i am niranjan chatterjee uh, currently i am pursuing my phd degree uh, uh, under the supervision of professor santosh kumar misra at the department of biological science and bioengineering at iit kanpur uh, i come from uh, the background of human physiology and uh, i have also completed my ma- masters this mtech degree from the same lab in the field of uh, drug delivery that's great to know so niranjan what inspired you to pursue this particular project and how you went about this project for which you applied for this award uh, so uh, as you uh, know that this project uh, for which i got this award uh, that is basically on a uh, development of a Uh, material composite uh, as a non drug therapeutic alternative for the treatment of uh, mechanically damaged skeletal muscle so uh, as we all know that skeletal muscle is uh, you know one of the major organ of our human body and it also uh, important and i i think it is the only organ which uh, help in all kinds of you know voluntary movement of us so uh, basically what happens this uh, organ basically skeletal muscle gets exposed to different kinds of injury during several causal event as well as in different accidents which include uh, battlefield activities or when uh, soldiers working in uneven topography when athletes uh, during their sports activities and also different road accident and and basically uh, when these accidents happens in in a major uh, you know uh, occurring for major uh, accident that time it it leads to uh you know tr- uh, tremendous loss of the skeletal muscle that is that causes the volumetric muscle loss as a, a specific terminology if i say and and that time what happens that muscle uh, loses its regenerative potential and also at that and that time it uh, it causes lot of lot of pain sensation and and various other active uh, you know uh, events uh, damage of extracellular matrix and so on now uh the, the 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 current treatment strategies basically uh these are included the surgical you can use the surgical uh, removal or surgical uh, uh, you can say insertion of other uh, muscle cells or at the same time uh, people use different kinds of these nsaids non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and 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 cryotherapy during basically for the sports person or other other kinds of therapy but what happens uh, this this all this uh, therapy is what i am uh, talking right now those leads to those are basically resolve the pain sensation process at the same time uh, what but so far is reported that it has very less impact over the regeneration of the skeletal muscle uh, for example if you take the example of nsaids it doesn't have as such any impact over muscle regeneration but it uh, causes the reduction of the pain sensation so at the same time these are also associated with lot of side effects you know lot of side effects comes from these kinds of drugs so as a as a researcher in the field of these biomaterials what we have thought that if we can uh, design something which can uh, give speed uh, recovery process it can speed up the process of recovery at the same time if it improves the uh, muscle regeneration and uh, then then it could be a better approach and without creating any significant toxicity so uh, there are there are many approach could have been taken but what i have uh, thought that what we have done basically we have thought without using the drug we have not used any drug as such in this uh, composite so rather we use a strategical incorporation of a, a carbon nanoparticle so basically we modified the surface of the carbon nanoparticle and we inserted it in in a smart hydrogel system to make a, a, a composite system and what we have observed that when we applied it with the uh, muscle cell basically in in vitro uh, uh, muscle uh, cell culture what we have seen that it, this this compound was uh, specifically can interact with the muscle 
And at the same time, when you have applied in a mechanically injured skeletal muscle animal model, so basically we created an animal model and then we injected it, we have seen that it keeps complete structural recovery within uh, 72 hours. So, uh, uh, so this structural recovery, what do I mean? Basically, during uh, uh, muscle damage, it causes you know, damage of the sarcomere, basically an important part of the uh, you can say the muscle fiber. So, so if we apply when we inject our material intramuscularly, we have seen there is complete recovery and and many other parameters, including biochemical parameters like serum creatine kinase and all these things. And uh, therefore, uh, this uh, strategy so far uh, it, it's a it's a better approach. But uh, yeah, it clinical translation will obviously help all the uh, individual who are actually involved in these kinds of activities and all. That's good to know that even uh, drug-free composites can be used for treatments. So, as we know that yes, sir. Yeah. award innovation is one key aspect, and you already mentioned or touched upon uh, exactly how you innovated your design for this composite. But if you can rephrase again for our viewers that what was the main innovation? which you highlighted for this particular award yeah so uh, so this award is basically uh, uh, for the for the innovation uh, of, of a of a composite we have developed a composite material and that material we named as muscamlar so so muscamlar why we have named because of its you know property of uh, muscle regeneration so that basically that is uh, muscular responsive polymer carbon composite for myotubular regeneration, so that it it's uh, that is its complete name, and and this is this help in uh, so far so far we have seen that it helps in mechanically damaged skeletal muscle. It recovers completely within three hour, three days. That's that's great. So it looks like a very promising product which you have created, and I'm hopeful that you will be able to like get good results with it. So now we have touched upon the project, but since we are talking about this award, so I like to know that how you get to know about this award and what was the application process for this award? Yeah, so uh, first of all, I got to know about this award uh, from uh, Professor Santosh Kumar Mishra. So he received the email uh, advertisement and then he circulated within uh, the lab members uh, among the lab members and and uh, yeah then we uh, applied and uh, applied for this award so the application uh, process involved basically the submission of a proposal so that proposal which would include your personal details uh, cv and uh, basically the proposal include the synopsis and then it will uh, it will include the problem statement and uh, expected outcome at the same time, it is better if you have preliminary data, like where you have at least have some proof of concept established uh, that way, okay, this innovation will work or it is working at least in some condition. Uh, these are uh, mainly the criteria. And then uh, you have to uh, uh, apply basically through online portal that is this uh, uh, gyti.techpedia.in. Yeah. So in that platform, uh, there is an application form there to basically fill the application. That's great. Uh, I like to know in case uh, someone applies and uh, it's rejected for uh, some reasons, can applicants apply again for this award? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that is in my case also in the last year also I applied and last year means I think 2021. Uh, that time I applied, that time my application was rejected only. Uh, so, yeah, it is possible. A person, if it is rejected in, in one time, the second time also can be applied. And what do you think you improved upon uh, from rejection to award this time? That how you improved your application? So, uh, basically, in the last time when I applied, the uh, innovation was in very preliminary stage. So that time I just started the work. Uh, there was no such proof of concept I have uh, established that time. But uh, now uh, this is uh, a, a complete innovation where at least uh, at least you can say that we have gone up to the animal level and we have uh, established its uh, complete you know uh, working potential at least. 
and that is important for this award i feel so this, this is my totally my experience in this now it's uh, it's good to know and i think people who will apply for this award in future they'll consider these main points uh, before sending their application uh, moving up on to another aspect so so there must be some criteria which uh, is used to evaluate uh, all the applications so based on your experience uh, what do you think are the key uh, criteria which someone should focus when uh, writing their application for this award yeah so this is a very you know important point so um, so you know, basically this uh, this gyti award uh, is given in three categories so those categories include uh, based on the 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 type of the uh, project so that is M so one they call is mlm that is more from less for many so as the name suggests uh, so this uh, has to be the, the innovation has to be very very affordable sustainable at the same time it should you know uh, it should it should be economic as well so that people can use it and so those those are the criteria for this category another category is uh, for socially relevant technologies so let's say if somebody innovates in a in in the in a, in a domain where it it uh, basically answers some unmet social needs let's say uh, something is there for a long time and uh, somebody can uh, actually give some approach to solve that uh, problem at the same time if there is some let's say some approach is already there but if somebody let's say uh, modify it in such a way that it could improve its working efficiency that also comes under that socially relevant technology category and there is another that is called uh, the third category is uh, technological age award so in that category uh, the innovation has to be uh, basically you know technologically novel and it should be you know it should uh, basically technologically novel and that that should not exist previously and basically a new way or new approach of treatment or not only treatment any 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 innovation in that category so my even my innovation was also in that category that is technological age award so these are the main three criteria yeah, that's that's good to know and people can decide exactly what criteria they fit in and then they can uh, adapt their application according so so the last thing what message you will send to young innovators who are thinking of applying for these awards that what they should do or keep in mind yeah so uh, so so i would say basically two three things that um, if you have uh, some innovation okay if you have uh, some uh, idea and with some established proof of concept then that person should go ahead and apply for this award so basically what it will give that uh, this award will be whenever if you can win this award then what will happen that that this will be attended by the you know all uh, different kinds of uh, policy maker of the country as well as the practice owners of the country so they will attend and and that will uh, help you, that will help you to to recog to get the recognition for your innovation that's the first thing second thing if you need ipr support or you want to uh, incubate uh, this innovation that those kind of supports also they provide so so different so if you really basically want to progress on your idea or or the innovation you want to really want to translate it for the society then uh, then i think that person should should go ahead and apply for this award that's good to know thanks a lot niranjan for sharing the insight uh, about this prestigious gyti award and we congratulate you again for winning this award this year and we are sure that you will be working on these concepts and uh, make this uh, into a real product which can be marketed soon thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much Sarila. we are working on it and we are also looking for that what can happen and we are also working with some you know better uh, uh, advanced model uh, where it can work so those are our uh, future goals thank you very much